We received a very nice camera, a dash camera for the motorcycle. This is a wireless touchscreen interface with cell phone connectivity for motorcycles. And uh, we are very lucky to be the first ones which we're gonna test it and we're gonna mount it on the Africa Twin. It has a wireless touchscreen interface and also you can connect uh, your cell phone. The resolution of the camera it's uh, full HD. It has also a G sensor, parking monitor, time lapse and plenty of modes which we're gonna discuss in detail it has even an internal tire pressure monitor device it has an android auto and a carplay let's see what we have in the package let's check out the package this is the monitor and everything we need brackets the actual camera one for the rear one for the front cables this is the waterproof power box waterproof cables this is the another camera the mounting bracket this is everything which is included in the package cables the waterproof power box brackets We're gonna mount everything right away. This camera will be mounted on Alamis motorcycle, the Africa Twin. We will already started with our project called uh, Alami and Arthur. You can check it out on our channel. We are testing your products, we are reviewing your products and then come back with our feedback. I look forward to see what this dashboard camera has to offer for our motorcycles. The dashboard cameras usually I find them very useful for uh, safety reasons because uh, these are monitorizing all the activity which happens in front of the bike but especially on the back of the bike, on the rear, so you are able to see what actually it's happening behind you uh, in the traffic and this camera actually records everything and uh, delivers you all the information you need in order to ride the bike more safe it also has other features like the tire pressure display also recording loop recording and uh, it acts basically like a dashboard camera i look forward to see what this dashboard camera has to offer for our motorcycles and uh, Alami will bring his motorcycle and we're gonna install uh, this dashboard camera on his bike check out this beauty Africa Twin 2020 Africa Twin How are you Arthur? Very good, very good I look forward to install on the bike uh, this dashboard camera I think it's a useful uh, feature useful. to have uh, on a motorcycle yeah. Most of the cars they have already a parking sensor, they have a camera, a rear cameras, and now we have the possibility to present you a camera, a dashboard camera that I think is very useful for it us is. as a motorcyclist. It it's also uh, with the uh, Apple CarPlay inside. Yes. So also has a tire, yeah, the tire, tire pressure, pressure sensors. sensors. Yes. Yeah. Temperature uh, sensor. What What do you think about the installation? It will go forward. Uh, it's easy, easy going. It's what do you recommend? It's, it's not really easy, but I recommend to use the uh, accessories plug on the motorcycle. Yes. Not to cut, not to modify the uh, original installation. Okay, so use the accessory plug. Because uh, you don't want to discharge your battery, you want yes. to have this uh, feature active when you turn on, on the, the key, on, the, key on the bike. Yes. So it's useful to connect it to the accessory plug and whenever you turn on the key, the, the uh, device itself will start. Yeah. Okay, exactly. let's start. So these are the uh, tire pressure sensors. These uh, R is for the rear, F for the front. These are the cables, which will uh, take your camera forward make which uh, are making the cables a little bit longer and here we have the mounting brackets screws washers also a 3m sticker zip ties and this is the bike where we're gonna mount alami's bike alami's africa twin what a nice bike man 
check out this windshield, the blue one. Custom made seat. A lot of accessories mounted. These are actually the handguards from the Transalp. This is the GPR exhaust system, a slip-on exhaust from GPR. How do we start? First, we need to start with positioning the main unit. And after we position the main unit, from the main unit, we go with the wires. So the first step will be positioning the main unit. We're just placing uh, each single piece together, each single bracket. You have here a dot, a white dot on the first camera and also on the second one. This white dot actually positions the, the angle or positions the straighten of the image. So to have a straighter image, you need to consider this uh, white dot on each camera. You can see here, this is the front view and the rear view. Regarding the mounting position for the rear, we found just under the rack here, we're gonna place it. Because it has a 3M sticker and anyway it's attached to the cable, you risk very little to lose it. This is the position for the rear, we leave it like this and then we're gonna connect the cables. First of all, uh, we found the position, which is very good, you can adjust it, you can also uh, turn it, so this actually, this will also, uh, can be rotated, the camera can be rotated and you have this uh, point to rotate it properly in order to have the correct image. And for the front, we're gonna place it uh, under the crash bar. Check out the positioning, it's uh, I think one of the best. These cameras are very light, so you don't have to worry that this sticker will not uh, catch, especially if you clean properly the surface before. All right, we just mount it, and after that, we are more than flexible to rotate and align the camera Imagine that uh, you catch an incident, imagine that you have uh, an unfortunate event, you will be secured and you will have the film. This dashboard camera is working uh, continuously, it's working non-stop and it will have everything covered. This device has also included a GPS antenna, which is very good. Why? Because you don't have to install a separate GPS antenna. It's already included in the device. Without the GPS antenna, this device is somehow useless. So it's a nice feature that it's already included in the device to help you use the navigation uh, apps like Google Maps, Waze and so on. A small detail to this bracket which is attached to the dashboard is that they have some rubber which acts like a suspension, which acts like a, a vibration damper and uh, it helps quite a lot keeping uh, the sensors in place and you can see it has a small free play which acts like a suspension with these rubbers. Another detail which I really like is this um, visor which comes on top and uh, somehow protects uh, the screen in case of sun and makes it more visible. One of the accessories which I like the most about this dash camera is that it has a USB charger, a USB connection and this uh, actually saves a lot of time when installing. So a USB charger we're gonna use also to um, start up this dashboard camera. Of course this is very useful when you have a USB power outlet on your uh, motorcycle. It helps quite a lot and also you can use it uh, with an external battery. In case you don't have a USB charger then you can easily choose uh, and use an uh, external battery. This is the bracket. This is a very hard plastic ABS. Now it's up to you where you mount it on the handlebar in order not to 
lose the visibility of the dashboard. You also have a possibility to mount it here or here on the side. It's up to you and up to your uh, preferences. We've chosen to put it uh, in the upper position to have a perfect visibility and to use both the dashboard and the dash cam. I think it looks uh, pretty nice. With this power box, if you decide to install it connected to the battery or connected to the accessory um, socket, you have this uh, protection, this power box, it acts like a protection mm -hmm. for your uh, battery. Sure. So we have here a fuse to extra protect uh, everything, the electrical part and the battery. Some of you may want to connect all the cables uh, to the ignition and we're gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna go with the cables uh, underneath the windscreen, on the back of the windscreen and we have this, uh, this cable, this accessory cable which we're gonna connect with. We've attached the display very nicely in the same angle as the actual dashboard. And now it's time to make some space for the wiring. Make sure you're gonna do this procedure uh, by a specialized uh, service or by a specialized electrician in order not to damage anything. So this is our recommendation. If you are aware of this or if you want to do it by yourself, you can do it, but uh, you must uh, assume your work. And we found a very nice uh, way with the cables underneath the plastics from the windscreen. And now we can connect ourselves with the rest of the cables. This is the uh, charging. This is the charging socket. This charging socket uh, goes directly to the camera. Charging cables will be connected to the accessories uh, socket. This uh, connection has already uh, a washer, a rubber washer, but still just to be sure and have this done uh, properly, use also a tape, an isolating tape extra, just to be sure. The cables uh, provided are already waterproof. This is 100%, but as an extra, safety measure make sure you can use the tape also the same we're gonna do for the rear cables we're gonna go with it connected to the other cables isolate extra the end cable it's suited to be mounted on a battery but we would like to protect our battery and uh, we would like to connect it to the accessory plug. Have this running only when the bike is running and prevent discharging the battery. We've managed to pass the cable very nice underneath the rear rack. And here you can see the cable just uh, easily passes uh, underneath the seat. The guys, they did uh, just a nice, a very nice and uh, professional work over here. I just love it, it doesn't block also the uh, rear stop and we can check it out. Now let's test for a bit if we connect everything. Uh... Yes, as you can see the welcome, the welcome message on the display and of course all the options available. We have the CarPlay, Android Auto, the panel, the settings menu. We also have the tire pressure sensor. How is the uh, touchscreen, Alami? How is it? How is very it working? Very responsive. Very responsive. Very responsive yeah. from what we can see. And now we've adjusted accordingly to what we can see on the dashboard. Have possibility to the front the rear now we can see the rear we're gonna also adjust it you can see both so our possibility is to see only the front we now can see only the rear mm -hmm. 
and we have a possibility to see both in the same display the which is very nice big image with the front small with the rear or the other way ah you can choose also yeah to have the front uh, image uh, bigger and the rear image uh, smaller or the other way yeah this is uh, quite a useful feature man what do you think yeah i think it's very useful to connect the display or to connect this uh, dashboard camera you need first to turn on the bluetooth in the bluetooth uh, connection you can see how is it called mt65c dd5920 this is the code now it's paired it's connected before you install you need to um, make the siri in the setting app in your iphone to make it uh, enable after you enable siri in the uh, syrian search menu no I don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the syrian search menu from the iphone allow siri when locked press siri button for siri and afterwards as you can see we have the carplay enabled what we have here all the apps whatsapp and everything phone maps ways telegram all the settings and now let's uh, connect also the um, sensors for the tires let's take mm -hmm. the ncb bypass bucharest china okay. and of course everything is connected with a phone and you can also connect it with your headset now we can check also the tire pressure sensors yes we have uh, the panel you can check the panel menu on check out the panel and we have uh, the front wheel 1.5 bar 20 celsius the rear wheel has 2.4 it shows also the speed and also on the right side it's uh, somehow um, a Point. compass a compass yes there's a compass on the right side quite an interesting uh, dashboard for this uh, dash dash cam we have also the elevation which is 147 meters yes now we set up the sensors the tire pressure sensors we get a signal that the tire pressure is low what uh, i think it's very useful uh, and alami can agree with me that uh, the rear camera it's uh, quite useful because uh, you have both the mirrors which you can check in and you have also an additional uh, rear camera display here and the film and you can check out the front tire it's a uh, low pressure we uh, have to make the pressure the air pressure to adjust it if you would like to purchase this product i place a link in the description you have all the necessary details until next time bye bye